In this video, we'll be discussing about division of swords, and we'll take off from the common principle that we mentioned in the outset, where we have root A over root B to mean root A over root B. And we apply this principle using these exercises that is now listed on the screen. So let's follow along to see how we break these uh, sort of examples down to gain a better understanding of how we can solve questions regarding to division of sort. So we'll take question number one. So let's start with uh, question number one, which is a uh, square root of uh, 144 over 16. So in the first place, we want to apply that concept by breaking it into two. So we have square root of 144 over square root of a 16. And looking at it, we can really break this down. So the square root of 144 is 12, and the square root of 16 is 4. And if we do the division, 4 we go in 12 three times. Pretty easy, right? Good. Now, now, let's make, make progress. progress. We, we are getting, getting a good handle as we go into it. We have 8 over 9. nine. We follow the same principle that we stated just above root A over root B. So this will give us root 8 over root 9. What we are saying here is that square root of 8 dividing square root of 9. Let me rewrite it here. 8 dividing square root of 9. And square root of 8 is the numerator and square root of 9 is the denominator. So to solve this further, we can find the square root of 8. So that will be 2 root 2. So this will give us 2 root 2 over 3. How do we get 2 root 2? We have 8, 2 in 8 give us 4, and 2 in 4, 2, and 2 in 2, 1. So we we'll take 2, 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8. So we can see how we arrive at a 2 root 2. So this give us 2 root 2 over 3. On the test, they can ask us to rewrite it as 2 over 3 root 2. So, so that's, that's a for number 2. Let's go to number 3 now. Number 3 is a bit different. We have 24 root 2 dividing 3 root 32. Anytime you see a question like this, you don't want to be confused. You want to stay calm and be able to think through it. First thing that should come to your mind is, I would like to break this number down so that I can solve them. And there are various ways you can approach it, but we are going to go through the simplest approach. So in this case, we have 24 root 2 and 3 root 32. So we have issues with a root 32. It's a very big number that we have to look for factors for. So, so let's see, see what, what factors, factors come to mind with a 32. 32. So we have 3, 16 times 2. 16 times 2 will give us 32. So we'll bring 24 root 2 down. And then we have 3 here, root 16 times root 2. And that will be 24 root 2 over 3 root 16 times root 2 and that will be 24 root 2 over 3 square root of 16 is 4 and we have root 2 and this will give us 24 root 2 over 3 times 4 will be 12 root 2 so as you can see we can now separate them as 24 times root 2 over 12 times root 2. 
as you can see, square root of 2 and square root of 2 we cancel out. And 12 we go in 24 twice. So our final answer will be equals to 2. You can always pause the video, wind, rewind, and check again. So we'll go to question number 4. Question number 4, we have 6 root 3 over 3 root 27. So how do we solve it? Just exactly the way we solve question number 3. We are going to break it down. So we have 6 root 3 and we have 3 outside the brackets and we look for the factor of 27. What can multiply each other from the beginning we know it to be 9 times 3. So we have 6 root 3 over 3 into square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 3. So this brings us to 6 root 3 over 3 into 3 root 3 because the square root of 9 is 3. So we have 6 root 3 over 9 root 3 because 3 times 3 will give us 9. So from here we can carefully see that uh, this root 3 and root 3 we cancel out and we are left with a 6 over 9. And with this 6 over 9, 3 we go in 6 and 3 we go in 9. So if 3 goes in 6, that will be twice and 3 in 9, that will be 3 times. So our final answer will be 2 over 3. Now we go to our final question for division. So we have number 5. Square root of 200 plus square root of 50 over square root of 5. So we are saying square root of 200 plus square root of 50 dividing square root of 5. How do we solve it? The same simple approach, we want to break it down. So the first thing we start with is uh, we start with the numerator. We we'll look for the factor of 200. That will be 100 times 2. And then we we'll look for the factor of 50. That will be 25 times 2 over root 5. With this step in itself, we have done 75% of the problem. So the rest is just to really walk through. So we'll break it down to square root of 100 and square root of 2 plus square root of 25 times square root of 2 over square root of 5. Now we solve further. Square root of 100 is 10. That's 10 root 2. Square root of 25 is 5. And 5 root 2. And over square root of 5. If you notice on both sides, we have square root of 2, square root of 2. From our addition of sod, since they have the same irrational number, we can treat the root 2 in this case as variable and add 10 plus 5 together. And that gives us 15 root 2 over square root of 5. Now, based on our understanding, we cannot leave an irrational number to divide a whole number. So what do we do? We can always rationalize. So how do we rationalize in this case? We are going to say 15. Let me write it here. Rationalize. Because we cannot leave our final answer with the square root of 5 as the denominator. So we have 15 root 2 over square root of 5 multiplied by root 5 and multiplied by root 5. So that way, we're going to have 15 root 10 over square root of uh, 25. And 15 root 10 will give us square root of 25 is 5. And now we can say 15 divided by 5 root 10. 
and 5 will go in 15 3 times and our final answer will be 3 root 10. So that is just a brief gist of a division of sort. Thank you very much for watching. If you are benefiting from these videos, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.